In today's video, we'll be talking about, we'll be reviewing my May income budget, entrepreneurship budgets, all of the money and the expenses that it takes to run a private practice. Hello YouTube friends, my name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mag channel where I am documenting my entrepreneurship journey as a licensed clinical social worker in private practice trying to build a mental wellness brand, a mental wellness clothing brand, cultivate my dream life that does not include work or things that feel like work nor debt. And I am sharing all of that with you guys here to provide information and inspiration to others. As a licensed clinical social worker, I work with um, career-driven caregivers who are struggling with maintaining the responsibilities of a caregiver, whether that is a caregiver of an elderly parent or children, and trying to build a career that you love, as well as with new adults who are experiencing anxiety or depression because what adulting feels like does not match what they envisioned for their adulthood. If you are new here, thank you so very much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so very much for coming back. If you're new and you're a viewer but not yet a subscriber, please consider subscribing to follow my journey and to get additional mental health information and inspiration, not just lifestyle information, inspiration, just inspiration total. Um, as you follow my journey. I want to take the time to really thank everyone who sent well wishes, thoughtful words of encouragement and prayers um, following my last video. Again, that video was not for empathy, nor was it clickbait. Like, I am fighting for my life out here. But, like I said, or maybe I didn't say in the video, the person that was, the third party was starting to broadcast what was going on or what had transpired um, out of anger because like I said in the video I did um, my husband did decide to cut all communication new number blocked on all platforms I blocked her on all platforms and I think out of anger she f came to the conclusion that if she attacked me I don't know. I don't know what she was thinking. So to take my power back, I decided to get in front of it and tell my side of the story. So I want to thank everybody for the well wishes and the thoughtful prayers and the emails and things like that um, following that video. Today, again, like I said, I am sharing my May income. This is everything that I earned in May because it all goes into one account. So any sponsorships I did from TikTok, um, any sales I made on my Mental Essentials apparel and accessories clothing brand, which is my mental health awareness clothing brand, and the income that I earned from being a contractor social worker with some uh contracting LCSW with some companies, my consulting income, as well as my direct practice income from seeing clients one-on-one. -on -one. I do share what I make in a day on my TikTok. So if you're not following me over there and you want to get more of like th that income, I try to do it once um, a week. I share what I make in a day. On I try to choose different days just so you can get a different gauge of like what, how my practice is set up and the income that I'm making. I share that over on my TikTok. The TikTok is linked below. And I also share more routine information behind the scenes of like daily life, this new healing journey, um, financial advice and things like that. Um, so before we get into the budget, just some background information for anybody who is new here. I have been in private practice for two years. Um, I started in April of 2021. Or March of April 21. My first appointment was March 18th, 2021 with a client. Um, I worked in the evenings while I built my private practice. And then I left and went full-time into private practice in February of 2022. So it's been a little over a year that I've been full-time in private practice. I recently became incorporated, so I do function as an S-Corp, and that was based on advice from my CPA that I had at the time. 
um, because it was looking like I was going to gross over $100,000. I pay myself bi-weekly. As an S-Corp, I set up payroll and I pay myself bi-weekly. So it does look like I am an employee of my business. And I pay myself a salary of $65,000. Um, that is what a comparable salary is. And my goal is to raise my income or give myself a raise of 3% every year. So Right now, I think I'm at uh, 66, 150 or 950. I don't quite know the exact numbers. It is directly deposited into my personal checking account. And I typically work about 30 hours a week um, seeing clients one on one. In that, I, I do also offer mentorships for new um, clinicians who are trying to build their private practice. Um, I do have, because I'm a mental health content creator, I do get sponsorships for that. Um, more on TikTok than anywhere else. I do also have the Mental Essentials apparel and accessory brand. And I do also do consulting. I'm also blogging and uh, I have a mental health blog that is attached to my website and that information is linked below as well so any income any any income i get from that that is the empire of mental wellness clinical counseling and services mental essentials is a subsidiary of mental wellness and so all of the income that i earn from all of those facets of uh, components of my mental wellness empire or my mental health empire goes into one account so now that I've gotten that all out of the way, we will pick up on my computer screen. So I do manage my income in QuickBooks. As you can see, this is my business, Mental Wellness Clinical Counseling and Services. Um, this is a custom report, profit and loss report for the month of May. So starting May 1st to May 31st. You'll see here, this is the profit and loss statements for the month of May. The total income was $6,217.75. Um, what is missing from May is my consulting income, which is a flat rate of $3,500 um, because I do have to drive and get that income from her um, or from that agency. I do uh, sometimes, some months I go without picking it up. So you will see, like I said, the total income was $6,217.75. Um, I did sponsor, this was a contribution that I made to an agency. I sponsored a mental health day because May was Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, I sponsored a mental health day for um, 109 kids in a neighboring city to go see the um, the Little Mermaid on the 26th. Actually, I sponsored two different events, but I went on the 26th. Um, employee benefits, my company does pay my health insurance and that is the total cost. And that is just for me and my daughter, um, but it is a Blue Cross Blue Shield plan and it, the benefits are pretty decent. Um, general expenses, these are just banking, fee banking fees. Um, I bank with Truist and they have a bunch of fees. This is ridiculous. Uh, the fact that I had $400 in meals, I thought it was going to break it down. $434, but that does include like Starbucks, um, when I would work or meet with, um, other providers or you know just collaborate trying to figure out how to collaborate with other providers I had a few meetings concerning mental essentials um, and then I met with the person who I made the contribution to and I paid for her meal as well for that <clears throat> shipping and postage this is again mental essentials I did get five or six orders for the month of May which you know, I am so grateful for because I got those orders the first week I returned back to that business and got it back up following, you know, what I went through in my marital crisis. So to get five orders, five or six orders upon returning was grateful. But I have since, you know, I'm just I'm I lack with consistency and then software and apps. So these are things like um my EHR, so I have like a uh, simple practice, 
I use that. And then I have, you know, Google Suites. I have my facts, QuickBooks, and like I said, Simple Practice. And that comes up to $243.26. So these are the prices that I pay to basically manage my business. I'm not quite sure. I think this is my email and then this is my phone the six dollars and then this is this includes like quickbooks but then like the payroll part the fact that i get the the direct deposit into my account so 243 dollars in apps to manage my this is the part that i don't quite understand because it shouldn't show up twice but it does and i don't understand why but payroll runs it's not 85.16 it is probably this the $4,753.84 as opposed to this and I really need I'm gonna have to reach out to my old CPA and see if she can fix this for me I know she's gonna charge me an arm and a leg but I don't want it to be an issue in you know on my taxes or whatever because it looks like i'm getting paid twice or i'm paying out twice and i'm not um so what i end up paying myself is this i don't and then it comes out again here so like this is the payroll for me it this is what it ends up being so i'm not sure why this comes out as well because this is what is directly deposited in my account the 1684.36 um but the gross pay is like the 23 or whatever and i need to get that fixed i'm gonna put that on my to-do list to reach out to my cpa to fix that and then we come down so this is not right like this is the wages but salary and wages i'm not i don't she just has to fix that so a lot of times at the end of the month it looks like i am in the negative but i'm really not because this is not correct so if you put the three thousand the thirty three sixty eight seventy two back into it if I probably would break even or have like a smaller surplus and then my taxes they come out separately as well I do pay about seven hundred dollars in taxes so this is the taxes for that again that comes out although it's already coming out here so again like I said it does look like I am in the negative but that is not correct and I need to fix that but anyway in addition to that so travel this is when I drove to have the meeting with the person who was who I was collaborating with to provide the mental health day or the movie um these are the taxes that come out of my paycheck and then utilities includes my internet service and then my phone service and this is for my line my um administrative assistance line and then my VPN for when I work like outside of the office just to make sure I have a secure Wi-Fi connection and so that is the total for my utilities so if we accurately did sorry if we accurately did if this was accurate and we put the $3,368.72 back into the account, um, it would be, I wouldn't be in the negative. I, well, I guess I would be in the negative, but like $2,000 or so. But again, I don't typically come up in the negative because I do have the consulting income and I just did not include that here. And so let's see if we can list out my income. So no, it doesn't list it out, but everything is under services. So most of the time you'll see like the consulting income. You'll see my um, Stripe payments from like the uh, 
the co-pays or people who pay cash you know I, I run that through my EHR and then it's deposited through Stripe into my account they take a, a large amount of fees too and then um, the reimbursement from the insurances once I, once I file the claim so that is this is pretty much a realistic view typically I make anywhere between six and twelve thousand dollars a month and I do stick to that um, direct deposit amount income that I am receiving um, and I live pretty comfortably off of that uh, every now and again I may uh, you know pay myself out out something extra but I try not to do that because I like the fact of getting that big bonus at the end of the month at the end of the year after I take those two weeks off so I do take those two weeks off in December um and the fact that I like I like to pay myself out I like to be able to pay myself out uh what I call a bonus end of the year bonus at the end of the year so I'm fine with letting that money the extra money accumulate in that account for that reason as well as for tax purposes so this is a realistic budget of my expenses and the income that I earn well not so realistic because like I said I am missing a portion of my income but this is a realistic glimpse of the income that I make in a month from month to month like I said it does range anywhere between six thousand to twelve thousand dollars um I did have a sponsorship in here but it was paid to my PayPal and I took that money and put it directly back on my PayPal account my PayPal is what I'm using to purchase the inventory for mental essentials if you are interested in mental essentials apparel and accessories this was the item that was um that was featured for the month of May. Um, for the month of June, I am doing the Selfish With Me prioritizing my mental health t-shirts before I had the hoodies. And so that will be on the website soon. The link to the website is down in the description box. Um, for mental health information and inspire daily mental health inspiration and information, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. I am going to get that back up and running. You can also follow me for more like behind the scenes over on my TikTok. That is Sharia Mac. That is also linked down below for weekly mental health information and inspiration. Uh, you can follow, subscribe to the blog. Um, I do blog every Wednesday, sometimes every Friday, and I send out a newsletter at the beginning of the month with some type of resource that is helpful for you guys. Um, that has the newsletters have returned. The blog has returned as well. Um, so you that is also linked down in the description box, and that is it. You can also follow mental wellness on all platforms. You not YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook, the blog. Um, and if you have watched thus far to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Again, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. I'm so grateful that I have reached a thousand subscribers, but now I have to get those four thousand dollars, those four thousand dollars, four thousand watch hours, and I'm sitting at like. 437 so if you want to like just turn my videos on and go clean the house or whatever please do so you know help a sister out um but thank you so very much for watching to the end of this video i really appreciate it if you have not already subscribed please consider subscribing if you like this type of content if you have any questions make sure you link them down in the description box i am trying to be more intentional with responding to all of the comments and or answering all the questions. I really appreciate you giving me this time or giving me your time and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.